Hey everybody, this is Mitch. Um, today I want to uh, talk real briefly on the dangers of something we call clipboard inheritance. I first heard this term uh, on one of the .NET Rocks podcasts, I think it was Carl Franken who mentioned it, and that is those of us who find a cool piece of code somewhere on the internet and we copy that piece of code and paste it into our Dynamics form and it doesn't work. And it doesn't work and we don't know why because we don't know what it does. Here's a perfect example. So I've just got a sample entity here with some JavaScript in the onload event. When I click on the new button, I get this. It says, one of the scripts on this record has caused an error. For more detail, download the log file. So let's do that. We'll open it up. It said, onload is not defined. Well, that's very odd since the last time I checked, my onload was defined. There it is right there. It is defined. If I look at my library, there is, oh, there's my onload down here. Okay, very good. So why is this not working? Well, there is a problem with this piece of code I have. And from here, it's very, very difficult to spot it because you're in the little white box, as I call it. Let's go over to a real editor and take a look and see what we see. So if I jump over to Visual Studio, look at my piece of code, so there's a couple things here you're going to notice. First off, it's Visual Studio has outlined there are some issues with this. If you look and see the green underscore marks, now this is either probably Visual Studio or also have resharper loaded, so it could be one of the two. These are not quotes. These are symbols. They're smart quotes. Smart quotes are actually special symbols. So in order to make this a live piece of code, I have to convert them from a smart quote symbol into a real quote, either a single or a double. I'm going with double in this case. So here I'm manually correcting these things. <clears throat> and after a little bit, you'll see that not only has the green underscore disappeared, but also the context of the string has changed into the, the red color that Visual Studio uses, so it knows it's a string now. So this is something that happens to everybody. I don't care how long you've been doing it, what you're working on, or what your experience level is. Sooner or later, you will copy a piece of code and not realize that either the blog has... Um, has smart quotes enabled, or sometimes you get instructional information like laboratory uh, experiments or lab experiments that have sample code and Word has accidentally or purposely converted the quotes into smart quotes. So anyway, this is just something to keep in mind whenever you're um, working with stuff. And as I've, I've said over and over again, nothing beats a real code editor when you're working with code. So this is Visual Studio. There's also Visual Studio Community Edition that works uh, very well. And even if you still just cut and paste and don't have a, a fancy piece of uh, software like the XRM Toolkit to push the, the code back into Dynamics 365 or Dynamics CRM, just having the editor available is, uh, is priceless because immediately upon pasting the code into Visual Studio, it told me that there were errors with this code that were going to uh, cause um, syntax errors. So anyway... Just a quick tip to tell you, just be careful when you're doing uh, cutting and pasting from blogs and stuff. Always paste it into a real editor Visual Studio, even Notepad++, for instance, would work just fine. And that way you find the problems before they start and you don't have to pull your hair out for two or three hours trying to figure out why you're stupid. Because you're probably not. Anyway, thanks everybody. We'll talk to you later.